Did you know already at that time that you wanted to be an artist, that you were drawn to be an artist in the world? I knew my one. Okay. I had 12. I knew I was. Really? Yeah. No. But, yeah. <laughs> and then, but I ended up as a Mansi loss. And I'm just doing a sketch. I'm the taker. I'm the taking him around. And I'm like, what are you doing? You know, because I'm one of them doing the what? And I'm in. Like, I'm an artist. <laughs> and the whole class, like, laughed. And I'm like, what's so funny? <laughs> How did you know that, though? I mean, mm -hmm. you would agree a lot of people don't know or understand that about themselves that early. How did you know? You know, I never, I never a question for me. I wanted to be something. I just was something. So, your self portrait? which you were doing for years when you first started. Um, faces in blue. Is, what, what's the significance of blue? Um, for me, I think, you know, this self-portrait in blue is all about me knowing I'm as an artist because blue is like, it shows for me the depth of how I feel. Okay. You know, and um, I mean, on a superficial level, okay. you'd say, oh, blue sadness, blue in the ocean. But really, it's that blue depth. And then you switched. And why are children's portraits the focus now? How did that evolve? It's totally, totally bizarre. <laughs> um, after being in New York for a few years, I... I bumped into a, um, an art historian, and she and his son, and she, and I met this son, and I was bowled over by him. It was so strong. He had several small thing, but his spirit was so strong. You know, I met him, and I'm like, I, oh, I couldn't believe him. And then I thought, if anyone can paint that boy, I can. Yeah. I ended up doing 23. Really? They bought them all. Why so were you so been, sure that you were the person that could paint them? Um, because I've been telling about his incredible, indomitable spirit. I could relate to. Okay. And I could, one though I could relate to, I could see it. Mm -hmm. And I could feel it. And I was like, I can see and feel the essence of someone in pain. Mm -hmm. No, you don't pain the unknown, you become the unknown. The real thing that New York makes me feel is relaxed. What? I know, it's supposed to be the most. That's hilarious. <gasps> it's relaxed. Right. It's in, in this neighborhood? Yeah. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I spend a lot of time alone in my head and you know, I have constant ideas for a series of work and I explain you know, ideas but physically how to set up experiments and mm -hmm. You know, I write reviews for the London Daily Mirror. It's like so intellectually active, non stop. Right. Uh, being in New York, I can relax because so many people are like that. In Australia, or anywhere else I've lived, I'm like this mental whirlwind mm -hmm. that gets everyone organized and makes things happen. and. But here, everyone is busting their eye hmm. to do what they love. I'm like, normal. No big deal. <laughs>
Right, I'm not it. amazing. It's everyone's fucking amazing. Sure, absolutely. You know, and so it's like, oh, what a relief. Mm-hmm.